if you raise your hands if you like your lives. Good. Raise your hands if you like yourselves. Great. Now, raise your hands if you hate yourself and your life. Just me? Okay. Cool. I'm just going to be honest. I don't like myself or my life. At least, not right now. For a lot of people, getting up, going to work, breathing, is easy peasy lemon squeezy. But for me, it's difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. I've got to admit, it's not easy admitting that. I mean, feelings are natural, both good feelings and bad feelings. They make us who we are. For a lot of people though, publicly acknowledging bad feelings is considered taboo. Most people just want to cover it up and pretend it isn't there. That's what I was encouraged to do. I've basically been shamed into silence in more ways than one. Today, I'm gonna to give you guys a bit of my backstory. This is a story of years of verbal, emotional, mental abuse. And it's a story about a dream. A dream so powerful, it could save lives. I was always shy and quiet growing up. A lot of people just thought I was introverted. I was a kid and I didn't really know what that meant. So I just went along with it. As an adult though, I found out the, that I'm the opposite. I'm an extrovert with social anxiety. Yay, fun <laughs> combo, right? Like a lot of things in my life, this would have been better had I known about it sooner rather than later. I suffered a lot as a result of this. I was bullied from preschool to graduation. That's 14 years of absolute torment. It's kind of complicated, but by the time I had graduated, I had been to nine different schools. Plus I was homeschooled twice. That means every year, it was a new set of friends and a new set of bullies. I never knew what I did to deserve all of this. What could have I possibly done wrong to deserve this? Was I Hitler in a past life and now all of this was my punishment? <laughs> Things only got worse as I got older. I guess growing up, going through puberty, my family, they thought I would change. I didn't change, but they did. They became more cruel and aggressive. I've been called things no child should be called. This went on from age 11 to about 20. It stopped now, somewhat. And now it's like it never happened, but it did. I've wrecked my brain for years, trying to come, well, c trying to come up with a solution as to why. I still haven't come up with a solution, but I have came up with a solution to maintain my sanity. The best thing for me to do is just to keep moving forward. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to do. I try to be forgiving. I try not to hold it against them, but being so young, everything that I heard, I believed. Around age 14, I started to break down. I became depressed, anxious, and suicidal. I still am. Sure, I've been able to experience some moments of peace, love, and happiness, but those feelings, those other feelings, have always been there in the background, watching, waiting for the perfect time to swallow me whole. In 2012, I lost one of my best friends. He was the only real friend that I had. I didn't have to beg him to hang out with me or anything like that. We went to prom together. Everybody shipped us. I was in denial. I found out way too late that they were right. He actually liked me. He actually loved me. We actually could have had a future together. I was devastated. Grief makes you stupid. And subsequently, I end up in an abusive relationship with a mutual friend. That relationship lasted seven months until I wised up and broke things off. I lost everything after that. He literally took my friends. That was seven years ago, and I'm still struggling to put the pieces back together. It hasn't been easy, but I've had a little help. You see, when I was 17 years old, I had this dream. I was gonna be not a triple threat, someone who can act, sing, and dance, but a dudeca threat, someone who can do it all, the <laughs> ultimate artist, the ultimate entertainer. Through my works, I want to be able to reach every demographic imaginable. But mostly, I want to be able to reach the people who were like me. I want to be able to tell them the things no one ever told me. Things like, 
it's it's gonna be okay you don't deserve this that dream kept me alive it's because of that dream that i'm standing here today i'm still a little damaged i'm still a little wounded i cringe at literally everything i do including this <laughs> but that's why i'm here i'm determined my name is shannon i'm 26 years old and after years of well let's just call it what it is hell i hate myself and i want to die but i'm gonna fight hard to love myself and live.